Hi, I'm going to show you how to add an SNMP version 3 agent to your network management station. So we'll be using NetCrunch, which is made by Adrim Software. And we'd like to thank them for sponsoring today's video. So typically in your network, you would spin up a virtual machine and install your software on it. So here I have a Windows Server uh, VM running with the NetCrunch software installed. And we are going to connect our switch via SNMP version 3 which includes like authentication and encryption and all that good stuff, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and pull up the configuration. Let me pull that up. Um, there we go. So if you haven't already checked out my other videos, highly recommend that you do. Um, I go into detail on how to set up SNMP version 2, 3, traps and forms and the like. I'll put a link down in the description. So if you already know how to do that, uh, continue watching. If not, Go watch those other videos. It'll bring you up to speed on how to add uh, a switch or device using SNMP using iOS here. So uh, let me pull up Putty real quick and let's take a look at the configuration that I have. So show run. So we'll go through it. Um, if we go to the bottom, I created an SVI, so basically an IP address, so I can at least ping and talk to the to the switch. You need something to communicate with it. And uh, I've created SNMP server group, server group, um, priv, so it has auth and priv. You can't see the username um, and uh, password here. It's kind of hidden away, but uh, I have all the commands in the other videos if you want to check them out. So it's just a, a basic configuration on the switch. There's nothing fancy, uh, just the basics. So let's go ahead and try and add it to our NMS real quick. So let me pull up my... Uh, my server here and what we'll do is there are a couple different ways but I'm just gonna start monitoring IP node so I'm going to add it so I'll put in the IP address of the switch so it'll try and discover what it is let that do its magic <laughs> okay so figured out it was a switch and what we'll do is we'll add an SNMP profile. So basically, we're going to add an SNMP version 3 username, password, all that, read write. So the user is derp user <laughs> I created. Uh, I chose SHA for authentication and then user password. So the password I put in here is user password. I know, so original. <laughs> uh, encryption 192, uh, the, the encryption password is user encryption I know it's so uh, unique right there absolutely secure <laughs> so we'll do the same thing for the right let me add that in this password encryption is 192 AES encryption so we are going to save this as um, save this profile as SNMP version 3 you can name it whatever you want, but I'm just going to name it that, make it easier. So there we go. So we'll have the username and password so we can authenticate and have encryption and all that good stuff. So we'll leave the default monitoring packs. Um, I don't want to monitor all these services, just the basics. Uh, just a ping, but you can do a lot of stuff. Um, we'll leave the defaults, okay. And there we go. You can see there it is. The switch is added. You can see it's up. All of it looks green. So if we right click its status, we can see all kinds of cool little things about the uh, switch. So the di uh, device type, MAC address of the switch system, um, all the basic things you'd see um, pretty much have access to everything. A lot of information, <laughs> which is kind of scary. So you want to uh, lock it down with a good username and password, and probably an ACL, so <laughs> no one but uh, authorized computers in your network can even like try and connect to it, which would be probably a good idea. But yeah, that's pretty much it to add uh, SNMP version 3 agent. It was like dead simple. Um, the only hard part would probably be the Cisco <laughs> configuration. But other than that, it's just point click. So I hope that was helpful and thanks for watching.